Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today will be another video showing something about Raspberry Pi. In this video I will show how you can install the Raspberry Pi DB TV hat. One of the subscribers told me, Alan, why don't try to install or to show how you can install this uh, TV hat? And I say, yes, good idea. I think that uh, we can connect this TV head to make your IPTV. In this way, you can connect uh, your satellite and you can watch this TV any place, anywhere, and you can either uh, transmit through the internet. You can connect uh, this IPTV to your AMB or to your Plex or your Kodi or any application that you like. In this way, you don't need to be physically in your house or you need to have a specific satellite connect to your device. You can have uh, only an internet connection. And then when I bought this one, what they come? Simple, they come a box. And inside the box come this small hat. Really simple, really small, that you can connect your satellite and you can do everything that you want. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, let's do it. First point, let's explain what I have. I have a small TV Pi. In this, inside this box, they come a small plastic with some screws. I didn't use because I print some case for my Raspberry Pi and that uh, I will change once that it's work. Basically, I have a Raspberry Pi here, a Raspberry Pi 3B. This Raspberry Pi 3B, I put some heat sink principally in the main components that warm up because I don't want that uh, they reduce the life or only stop to work. It's not the best read sync that you can buy, but at least it's simple and small and the application that I'm doing will be good enough. Because of this heat sink, I cannot fit directly my head here. So they already come with this extension and it's really handy. With this extension, what you do, you get your pie head and you connect just in the top and you slide and press. When that's press, it's connect, all the pin is connect. So no problem, you can run it in such a way that you don't need to stress. Have this one, you can potentially put the screws. Here they suggest you put some screw to hold it in position, but uh, I will change some things, so I don't need to put any screw at the moment. But if you want, you can do it, no problem at all, but I would prefer to print something for me that it will look like more better and professional. Right, to print the base, I will only need to design the top and that's it. Fine, have this one in mind, then now we can go for our computer and start to do our first setup. Which operating system that we're gonna install? If you think that we're gonna install Raspberry Pi OS or Raspbian, you'll think correctly. So we're gonna open the website, official website for Raspberry Pi. And here we go in the software option where show us this option. So what we're gonna do, we can come here and put to see all the downloads and which option that we're gonna install. We're gonna install the Raspberry Pi Lite. You can install the option for desktop and watch all the movies for your Raspberry Pi or all your TV through the Raspberry Pi, do everything through the Raspberry Pi, but I don't like this idea because I think that Raspberry Pi, it's a really good component to be as light as possible, to don't overheat and in some place and all the rest of the applications out. I think that I never connect uh, HDMI for this real Raspberry Pi apart for one or two times, but 90% of the times I don't connect. So if you are one of this person, you're gonna install the light. If you're not, you're gonna put the HDMI and do all the configuration directly here. Independent of your choice, we're gonna install the light option. If you install the desktop and work well without any lagging and really light, please leave your comment. I never install it because I want to save some extra space and extra capacity for a light option. So I come here and we'll do the download this option. After I finish the download, we can get our SD card connecting our adapter because my computer don't have a specific adapter for it. So it's better to do it and we connect in the computer. With the SD card connected to the computer, we can select our image. You don't need to unzip or discompact to do anything because the program will do for you. You select the image that you're gonna install. In our case, it's this SD card, the only one that's connected. I put flash. They ask for permission and we accept the permission. And once that has been once that has been accepted permission, they will start all the process for decompactation and flash all the information. So we need to wait until they finish. 
If you did everything fine, at this stage we'll show the information flash complete. So we can remove our SD card and put again in our computer because we're gonna need it. So once that I put, there appear lots of errors that you didn't find, cannot open this folder, blah, 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 blah. And now open this page. This one is the boot. What we need to do, we need to create a folder called SSH. We come here, new, text document, and we create the SSH. This one is because we're gonna access our Raspberry Pi through the SSH, so we need to create this one to allow it. Once that you put SD card in our Raspberry Pi, we're gonna put connect it to the internet, power in, and don't forget the satellite. So I will do it now. Once that you plug everything, now we can open our putty and access our Raspberry Pi through the SSH. In my case, my Raspberry Pi have the follow IP address 192.168.1.232. Please look the IP of your Raspberry Pi. You can have a lot of programs that you can locate. You can go directly in your router and locate the IP address. So you need to find the correct IP address for your equipment. And we come here and put open. They will ask you to make login. So I will look in as a Pi. Have my password, Raspberry, and I put enter. And they ask you, please go to the Raspberry config and change your root password because it's not safe. So let's do it. Let's come here, I copy, sudo, and I paste this information, run. In this page, we can come here in our system option and they will ask the password. Let's change the Pi password. They say after you change your password, will be changed. So exactly what you want to do and put enter. And we tape the new password. In my case, will be test123. And again, and I did correctly, so I can come here, enter. After this one, I can finish this application because we don't need it and we're gonna clear all the page. What's the first thing that we're gonna do to, before we start our installation? If you think about upgrade, update our Raspberry Pi, you think correctly because we want to avoid that any mistake happen or any problem happen. So let's do it now. First script that you're gonna run is this one, sudo apt get update for we do the update for our list. And that will take some seconds, it's quite fast, it is update, so let's wait. Wonderful, we finished to update our release, now we're gonna upgrade our system. To do this upgrade, we're gonna tape sudo apt get upgrade, and we run it. I read upgrade my system, so it will be really fast and don't allow any upgrade. If you wanna do the upgrade for the first time, be ready because it will take around five, 10 minutes, depending which kind of SD card and which kind of internet that you have and everything. So in my case, I read this step, it is one because take a little bit over time. Now we're gonna install the application for the TV head. To do it, it's simple. We come here and run the follow script. sudo apt get install TV head and we do enter. They will read all the informations and they will ask you want to install, they will take 826 megabytes of your capacity. You are sure that you want to do it? Yes, this reason that we buy the TV head and this reason that we install and try to do it. Yes, I'm sure. So I come here and put yes and enter. So now we will take the same time to upgrade all your data for the first time around a five, 10 minutes. So let's wait. Perfect, it appeared this page, we can set up our admin password and user. So I will add as a Sauber lab and I put enter and I ask what password? Tape correctly because they only ask one time, they will not ask twice. So let's tape it and done. What do they tell you? That you can access your application through the port 9981. So you can put your IP address plus port 9981. So let's wait to finish the installation before we enter in this port. We put enter and wait a little bit more. When they appear this information, Pi Raspberry Pi. So supposedly you finish it to do the installation. We can clear this page only to be clear. It will not affect anything for you. So now we can open our web page and try to access the port 9981. Wonderful, I already taped it here. And my IP address will be 192.168.1.232 and the port 9981. So now I can log in with my user that I create, Sauber Lab, and my password. First time that you do your login, there will appear this page where you need to find the language that you want to run all the application. So I come here and select as English, and here I can select as English as well, that will be the preference language. 
So I select here and put save and next. Okay, they will transfer everything for English and we can come here and save and next again. We can define what IP address that's allowed to access, what it means. Suppose that you want to run a Plex application or AIM application or a Jellyfin application and you want only this system or this computer will have access for my TV head. So I can put the IP address of my system. In our case, I will be open because I want that everyone in my network access it and it will not set for external access. If I want to set external access, I really suggest you to define a password for user and login. But in our case, we're gonna put as an open admin user and open user user. So let's put here and save next. Once that appeared this page, I needed to go for the network and I select my deep VB TV. So I come here and next. Now they were at appear the first network that I'm setting as a DVB-T network. And now I need to select where I am. So to select it, I need to go here and look which option that fit more for my needs. Australia, Finland, and uh, my case, I will come here in UK, United Kingdom. In my case, I look for which antenna that have a better signal in my case. I search a little bit online, it's not so difficult. And I find that in my case will be Sunday Health. So I will select this one. I suggest you to put the predefined mixers according from the place that you live. I'm not 100% confident that will work in all the regions or any place that you want. It's worth for you to check that the band frequency that you have in your country will fit the frequency that they read. Always you can have different options like uh, DB here in the box, you have the DVB T2 and DVB T, so you can have a different range of frequency that you can access. In my case, it will be this one, and we come here and put save and next. Once that you put in save and next, they will start to scan the red appear as a eight mixers, but they will take a couple of minutes until they finish to scan all the mixers. So it's worth you to wait. You don't need to tune anything. They will do everything for you. It's only wait for they finish it. Once that appear 100% check, we can come here and put save and next. And now we can put map, create target and network uh, targeting and put save and next. Well done, you finish all your configuration so we can come here and put finish. So once that appear this page, we can come here and put now and that they will appear all the programs that now it's running, now it's playing. So uh, we can start to watch some TV. Let's go to, I don't know, channel four. And I put play channel four, they will start to run the program for the channel four. The only problem that when you're running directly in this application, they sometimes lag a little bit. So it's not so good to run directly. What we can do, we can create our, our M3U file where you can share, we can stream, we can create our playlist for it. How we can do it? It's simple. Let's get again our channel 4 and that we come here and download program and there I ask you to download, we will put channel 4 and we save it. Let's download the second one only to be sure. Now let's put the channel 5. Then put channel 5. Eh? I save it. So now if I open this folder, they write appear channel 4 and channel 5. If I open it, they will start as a VLC player, but will not run it. We can come here and open with our notepad plus plus. And if you look there appear the name of the program that is running at that exactly time. What we can change, we can put as a channel 4. And we can save it. So all the time that we open our channel 4, they will already appear channel 4 here in the bottom and the name of the file there. What we can do as well, we can create a big playlist. Let's open our channel 5 as well and change our description for channel 5. And that we copy these two lines and come here in our channel 4 and paste it. You can create as much as you want and we come here and save. Once that I save, if I open our channel 4, the red appear the both playlists. Let's go back here and I can change for channel 5. Or I can come here and change for channel 4. And I come here and stop it. And then if I open this file, the red appear the both channels. And as much as you want to put, you can put here. 
Also, if you want to choose this file, this file it's a M3U file. If I open here, so you can connect directly for your Jellyfin, AMB, Plex, and that you can have a live stream through that application. So you can have the application in your phone and you can live stream for others. Also, you can download in your phone this um, TV Heads application and you can watch Open TV in your phone or any place that you want. So guys, I hope that you like this video. It's only I want to show this option for TV Head. If you work in your country, please leave your comments that at least the people that live in the same country as you can buy and install in the same way. If you like this video and think that it was worth, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.